Hello and welcome back to Connection to Excellence, where I decided to interview some very successful entrepreneurs. And today my guest is Sylvia Popovic. Sylvia is an international speaker. She is a mindset and business strategist. She has her own radio show. And two weeks ago, she was in the National Croatian Creation TV show to speak about her experience in her business and gave some tips. So very welcome, Sylvia, that you are here in my show. Thank you, Cornelia, it's really a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I see that you're doing amazing things, so I'm glad to be your guest. Thank you so much. And by the way, um, Sylvia is also one of my coaches and she really pushed me to step in my, heart, uh, in my power. And I'm so happy that, you have, uh, that I have you in my life because you really believe on my qualities and stuff and you pushed me so great and thank you so much for your help. You're welcome, Cornelia. It's my pleasure. This is what I do for a living, you know, coaching people, consulting companies and pushing them out of their comfort zone. So you can say, even though maybe I look like a good cop, I'm actually a bad cop. You know, I <laughs> confront people. I confront people where they, they want to go, where they don't want to go. I said, okay, this is exactly where we're going to go, but go together. Great. So, and by the way, if somebody is watching this show and doesn't know me, my name is Cornelia Müller. I'm a leadership and high performance coach. So I help people to connect themselves with their intuition so that their heart and brain works totally perfect together to get really great results. So now to you, um, Sylvia, I know from you, you were not always a mindset and a business strategist. So tell us a little bit about your journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking, Cornelia. Yeah, I was not always a mindset and a business uh, strategist, but I was coaching people my whole life. Even in high school, I was always perceived as a leader. And my university, you know, I'm coming from educational background. People were always coming to me and, and with the problems and they would ask, okay, how can I solve this? And for me, it was really natural, you know, to, to give them steps, to give them tools to say, hey, if you com communicate this in this way, if you do this, you will have results that you, that you want. But um, as I'm coming from Croatia and living in Germany, um, I met one coaching organization where I was recognized um, as a consulting and all the coaches when they saw what I did so far with children in the past and being a project manager as well. They say, you know what, you need to go to the higher level. You need to coach European and international entrepreneurs on mindset, on business tools, how to build personal brand. So even though maybe this sounds to someone like an easy path, it was actually not. It was really hard for me to change my mindset uh, from, uh, especially when it's uh, around the money, because I was not earning money that I'm earning now. So there was a lot of limiting beliefs. There was a lot of self, you know, low self confidence. There were a lot of pity party in my head, and uh, especially as a woman, you know, I had this mindset that we need to we need to become a man in a, in a business to be successful. Now I can say the truth is something totally, totally different. Great. And how, where, uh, are, you, how are you experienced um, now as a um, business uh, strategist and mindset strategist? Mm, uh, what, what is my experience? Yes, your experience and your results with, with, with uh, your coachings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so I can really say that I love what I do and what I do is really my passion it's in my heart I love people and uh, one coach you know I have several coaches one coach says uh, Sylvia if you could do something for the rest of your life that people don't pay you what would that be I, I said you know what I would just sit down and I would have a line and line of people coming to me that they tell me their problems especially in business that tell me what are they struggling for and that I give them just solutions, that I ask them good questions. So I really can say, Cornelia, I'm blessed. I'm really blessed and thankful that all my clients are really implementing the things that I suggest them. They are high achievers. They, they, they are authentic. They are vulnerable. When they're afraid, they tell me. So for me, it's so easy and natural. And 
I think that the biggest blessing in this is that people actually pay me to do what I really enjoy. So it, uh, I can say from that point, uh, my experience is really amazing. That's great. So, and how important is intuition in your business? Oh, wow. That's a great question. So uh, intuition for me, you know, um, let's start it like this. One of my core values is God, and I really do my best every day to put God on the first place. So that means when I wake up that I don't let myself some negative thoughts or some problems or whatever it is I'm facing in life, that that comes to the first place. I always say, okay, thank you, God, for, for giving me a gift of this day as well. So God is on the first place in my life. And after the day is done, when I always ask myself, did I put God on the first place? Did I really put a God on the first place? And if I did, that day was great. You know, I have days where, like I said, you know, things just happen and there's rush and this and that. But one of the gifts that um, I perceive, I, I believe that God gave us is this intuition, this, um, this, this knowledge and this leadership in us that we know exactly what we need to do. We know exactly what decisions we need to make. We know exactly what is the person that we need to connect to, go to. Uh, but fear is something that is blocking this intuition. So my 90% of decision in my life, I did based on intuition, including in business. And it's extremely, extremely important. Just to tell you practical, uh, um, something practical that happened, I think now two months ago, it's going to be two months next week. Um, I saw a man, extremely beautiful, um, and I was just like, I heard, go there. I literally heard, go there. So I approached this man and I said, you know what? My intuition is telling me that we should get to know each other. So we started talking. It was great connection, good energy. So after that, he became my client, um, and it happened so spontaneously and so different than what most of the people think that in business um, is happening. So let me just make a, make a connection here, Cornelia. Most of the people think that, you know, to have a client, you need to go there, you need to have your pitch, you need to, you know, you need to dress for success. Okay, that's important. You need to know who you are and how you dress is how you give impression to other people. But from the other side, when you're following your intuition and you're, when you don't question it, God wants us to give more clients. God wants us to give wealth. God wants to give us good things because they're already there. It's only our awareness that we are blocking this receiving because of the fear. So all my successes that I achieved so far, uh, I can really say intuition, that is a gift of God, and not giving up. You know, So it's extremely, extremely important in my business. Great. Thank you so much. And um, what was your biggest challenge in your life? And how mm -hmm. did you? Oh, wow. Oh, I had so many. That's a hard <laughs> one. <laughs> I had, a, I had a so many challenges. But uh, let me start with something that kind of clicked, you know, recently. Um, I think that one of the biggest challenge that I, uh, that I become aware of in my case and in the case of my clients is we all, I wanted to be successful. I always intuitively knew that I'm going to be the first one in my family who's going to be an entrepreneur, who's going to do something different. But when I started doing that, uh, my biggest challenge was to accept that even the closest family members will not understand completely who I became. And that was a challenging for me to observe, even though my family is like really warm and supportive. But if we go on a deeper level, one of the biggest challenges is, you know, to face, to face the truth and, and to see that um, we cannot expect people to give us something that they don't have and that it's okay. So that was like emotional, really a uh, long journey for me that I need to make a piece of, you know, piece of, uh, with myself and with that decision and with that awareness. 
And the second challenge, uh, like I mentioned, was about the money, about the, about the wealth, about the things that I deserve. Because especially we ladies, we are um, extremely trying to please other people, be, be kind, be loving. And that's fine. It's great to be kind and loving. But there's also a thin line where we don't ask for the things that we deserve. And we always put ourselves on a second place. So that was a long process because uh, my father was extremely dominant. I mean, he's still alive, extremely dominant. And I was such a people pleaser. You know, I was pleasing everyone. And then I would put myself in a financial situation where I, I saw, hey, this is not working. I need to change something. So that transformation, you know, to put my foot down, to learn how to say no on a really respectful uh, but strong way, that was one of the biggest challenges because my subconscious and my limiting belief was like pulling me, pulling me back. No, 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 no. Just say yes to everyone. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. I can imagine. So do you have any tips for the people who are watching now this show? Great tips for them to start business or to continue business and... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, Cornelia. So what I do uh, in my coaching and consulting company, I help people to start, to grow and to scale their business. So there's many areas that I cover, you know, uh, building a personal brand, how to sell successfully, especially for women. I also educate them how sexuality can impact our income. This is something that not so many people talk about. And I was like, oh, you know, when there's a word that includes sex, everyone thinks about physical activity, but it's actually the energy, sexual and life energy. Mm -hmm. So for someone who is uh, starting a company, I would give a tip, you know what, really sit down with yourself and look, what are you passionate about? And is this really your passion or is it just something where you see that this could be a good, uh, you know, income source? Because when you do what you're passionate about, the money comes faster. You attract better people. You're on a, on a better vibration. And the second thing is have a mentor. Um, a lot of people think, you know, I'm going to start my own company and I Google it. I look it on the YouTube. I read so many books. I visit so many seminars. That's great. But until the moment when you have a coach who's going to hold you accountable, who's going to motivate you, who's going to hold your hand, who's going to go together, together with you through challenging situation, your success will not be on the level that you deserve. So have a mentor. And the third thing is that I would you know, advise someone who's starting a company is you need to be aware of that your life will change completely, but completely your daily rituals, you will need to go to the places that you never visit, you will need to implement some, you know, social media strategies, maybe you will need to move, maybe you will need to completely, completely change the way you dress, how your hair is. So to make it short, to be open and to be coachable for someone who's watching this and needs to, wants to start a company, that's the best advice that I can, that I can give. And for the someone who has already the company, who is, you know, done with that part of the journey, I would just say, never stop investing in yourself. We need to invest in, you know, uh, in artificial intelligence. We need to invest in our marketing, in our branding. But how is it and, and what way are you investing in your mind? Because when you invest in your mind, when you have a coach or when you, when you invest to learn something new that will help your company, no matter what is happening on the market, no one can take you that. And that is expanding your creativity. Plus, if you are visiting uh, places where there are other people, high achievers, who are investing in themselves, you are putting yourself on a better vibration. You're creating good contacts. And you are adding value to this world because only together when you're surrounded with the positive people, you can really grow. And for the third group, you know, someone who wants to scale their business, it's like, okay, I'm not a startup anymore. I have my company. I would love to ask you, are you innovating in your company? What is the last thing that you've done for your people, for your team? Are you aware of that uh, spirituality? 
and business is not separate anymore. It was never separated in the past as well, but now it came the moment where the culture of the company is more important than ever, more important than your service, more important than your product. Because millennials, including myself and, and the other generations that are coming, they don't want to work for the companies where they don't know what these companies are standing for. So you need to check every few months, are you really, are you really going in your company with your core values? Are you innovating? Are you inviting other, um, other authorities of the field where you have challenge? So, I mean, I could really go forever for any of these three groups, but I think this is like the core that I would give as a tip for your audience, Cornelia. Wow, so great. So great tips. Thank you so much, Celia. You're welcome. And uh, are there any projects in the future from you mm -hmm. where people can find you or see you speaking or whatever? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'm not sure that we have so much time today that I, <laughs> that I say all my projects, but maybe just to reflect back what happened recently. So um, I'm in a coaching and, uh, coaching and consulting industry i'm also international speaker so networks you know from switzerland from germany from Netherlands, they invite me to speak importance of the mindset how to structure that so there's a many speaking engagements coming um also i'm going to uh, in the next two months to usa i'm invited to be on a usa television also speaking about mindset and innovation and how important it is to connect spirituality with the business that it's not buddha buddha is something that it's a must um i'm also part of writing a writing a book with german authorities in business i'm not supposed to share the names so please forgive me on that uh, also we are structuring um we are structuring a business for one of the biggest um uh, german networks it's uh, munich diamonds business club um, yeah, and I was just on the cover in UK. It's going to be out uh, on the 15th of April. So if any one of your audience is watching this and it's flying with a business, uh, you know, um, a business class, just go there after 15th of April and you can find the printed version of me uh, on the magazine. I'm not going to say the name, but um, you can follow me there uh, as well on my social media to find out what is the company? It is magazine for entrepreneurs and executives. Wow, great. So my last question, where can people find you if they like to contact you to uh, get coached from you, whatever? Yes, so thank you, Cornelia. So for the people who are watching this on Facebook, you know, um, I know that you're going to put the link with my name. So you can connect with me on a Facebook or if you're watching this on LinkedIn, just connect and put a message, you know, hey, I saw you over Cornelia uh, and Cornelia's interview and I would love to see how can I support, how can we collaborate potentially. So Facebook is Sylvia Popovich. It's my uh, private page or there's also official page and a LinkedIn Sylvia Popovich. So thank you so much, Silvia, that you took your time uh, to be in my show and um, answer me some questions. It was really, really a pleasure for me to have you here. Cornelia, thank you. You are doing amazing. I love seeing you interviewing other people. I see how your business is growing, how you change in the, in the last few months. So it's really a pleasure. You're going to be even more amazing. I see, you know, I see you on the stages as well, uh, attracting thousands and thousands of people. So thank you for, for helping others to connect with their heart, to helping leaders, you know, to transform. It's really needed what you do. So thank you. Thank you so much for your words. Thank you. So, and thank you for everybody who's watching this show. And I hope Sylvia and me, we were a contribution for you. And I wish you a beautiful weekend and we will see us next week and all my love to you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. God bless.